In this video I'm going to ask, answer a question uh, about an email that I received from somebody I'm, I'm uh, in connection with. It's a question about sort of detaching from difficult relationships and applying A Course in Miracles and various tools. <clears throat> so it reads, in my first session I mentioned that I tend to react to what I hear from people. I gave the example of you are lucky and we talked about tuning out and cancelling the belief when I hear one. But for some reason I think I need to figure out something, especially when I think the belief is not clearly expressed or seen. Let me explain a bit. I'm watching your, uh, your Udemy uh, video course Transform Difficult Family Relationships to Love and Harmony. Uh, you were particularly aware of what could trigger you with your mother, that is like tone of voice, facial expression and criticisms. Then you used those triggers in your prayer, such as I pray for a miracle to see my mother's criticism differently, for instance. My question is, I'm wondering if you recommend to identify the hook to be specific in what triggers me. Well, it, it's good. Um, it, it's always better if you can be specific, um, <clears throat> like I pray for a miracle to see uh, my mother's criticisms differently or I could see my mother's criticism, instead of my mother's criticism I could see peace uh, or I could practice being in the witnesser uh, anytime I'm with my mother, practice being in the observer <clears throat> of me and the criticism. So what's observing me in the criticism? Can I be the observer? <clears throat> and this helps to detach from the hooks. Uh, so I carry on reading this. I mean, when I see your triggers prayers, there is a certain simplicity in them. Criticism, tone of voice, spatial expression are powerful, deep and precise terms. I mean, they speak to me. I could relate to them. You are clear on the formulation for specific, for example. In my case, I feel overwhelmed, foggy. Well, that's also... Well, that's also the way I can feel about my spiritual journey. Sounds like there, there's a lot. By the seeming different and complicated situations, I tend to want to break them down. Well, just sort of <clears throat> pausing there and answering your question. Feeling overwhelmed and foggy uh, around triggers and around your spiritual journey. Well, you know, you can also use the Course in Miracles lessons on feeling overwhelmed and, and foggy. Like I pray for a miracle to see my fogginess differently. Instead of my fogginess, I could see peace. Another lesson is I'm not a victim of my fogginess. Um, <clears throat> so you can use all, all of those um, to release the fogginess. And sometimes as you start to release the fogginess uh, or the uh, feelings of overwhelm, you start to get more clarity on more specific things that you can <clears throat> release on. With uh, overwhelm and fogginess, these tend to be generalized feelings. So using the field of feelings tools, just sitting with your eyes closed, try not to go into thoughts and just be and allow these feelings of fogginess and overwhelm to be experienced, maybe for 10, 15 minutes a day in the morning or the afternoon. This will just help to release all this fogginess uh, and overwhelmed feelings. Just release those pent-up feelings and you can use the Course in Miracles exercises and practice the Observer tool. <clears throat> so continuing reading, uh, I'm afraid that only saying I see peace instead of or I pray for a miracle to see differently won't really address and delete the beliefs. Well. If you're not very clear on what the beliefs or the hooks or the triggers are uh, when connecting with people or in particular situations, you can use them. You can use it in a more generalized way. I pray for a miracle to see my fogginess differently, or if you realize, and then later on you may see it's that the way the criticism criticize you. So you can use the Course in Miracles prayers on that, uh, and also feel the feelings and the observer tools. So you can use all of them. Uh, or just use the ones you feel are working for you. <clears throat> if you, um, yeah, and if you feel that um, 
you're not sure if they're working I would continue to use them on a daily basis uh, just to for a while just to get your experience and you can contact me again uh, if things are working or not working so I'm carrying on reading situations today for instance I was listening to a friend's voice message and I felt triggered and upset I think I'm unable to get to a point of what really triggers me maybe thoughts such as she should have been more active or she does not think through enough or there's always a problem on her side okay so in this uh, <clears throat> So you felt triggered and upset, but you're not really sure what triggered you. Well, you know, as I said, you can use the generalized forms of the Course in Miracles in a generalized way until you and some and, you know, like. Uh, uh, and you can use it on the specific things you mentioned, like. Um, she should have been more active maybe you're thinking she should be more proactive with her problems so i pray for a miracle to see her inactivity around solving problems differently or instead of getting hooked into uh, how active or inactive my friend is i could see peace or I pray for a miracle to see my friend's activity or inactivity differently you can also practice if <clears throat> there's these generalized feelings or feelings of fear or anger coming up just trying to sit down, try to detach from thoughts and just allow yourself to experience the feelings around this for 10 or 15 minutes a day uh, and that will help or uh, practicing the observer tool as well. So you can uh, practice all of those uh, in those situations. Uh, continuing to read, later today I met with my brother and he started our interaction with a reproach against one of my neighbours. Again, again, I felt contraction. I mean, I did not like what he had to say. I felt attacked. I judged him as being negative and being in the neighbor's business. I then spent a few hours with him. I, c I could notice a sense of disconnection with him uh, towards me. Okay, so here, um, <clears throat> uh, so you felt contraction around your brother. Feelings like contraction or feeling stressed or disconnected uh, with interactions with people or your brother. Um, often it's good to just sit with those feelings and see if you can feel them out or see if you can sense, you know, how you're feeling this contraction like an object. Is you, are you feeling it around your body? Is there something observing this area of your body? What's witnessing this? So see if you can do that or just pray. Uh, pray for a miracle to see this contraction differently. Pray for a miracle to see your brother differently. Pray to see peace in the situation instead of now what you see in it. Uh, or you're not a victim of this situation with your brother and your neighbor. <clears throat> so you can just, or, you know, God is the love in which I forgive my brother and my neighbor and myself. So you can use various course, course lessons and also use some of the other tools uh, with that. <clears throat> Uh, I tried to tune out and at certain points I could notice that I was thinking that it means I don't love him or that I'm not totally present to him. Let's say that because he's my brother I'm feeling bad as though I should truly listen to him. I was af afraid of being uncovered. There is guilt. I would say, I mean, I, <clears throat> I understand. I mean, you feel he's your brother. You feel you should be loyal and present and loving all the time to him and caring and that uh, supportive as, as his sister but I would say uh, just uh, guilt is not useful uh, feeling bad about it the main thing is that you look after yourself first uh, and trust that your brother can look after himself and or another way of seeing it is if you look after yourself trying feeling the feelings of going to the observer or praying for a miracle <clears throat> to see the situation differently or I place my guilt and what my brother thinks of me into God's hands, uh, which is another great Course in Miracles lessons. Um, so as you keep doing those lessons and try and detach from uh, wanting to take care of your brother or be the perfect sister, 
uh, you'll start to feel more connected yourself. And the more connected you feel yourself, uh, later on you'll be able to help your brother more. But this is a form of codependency, really wanting your brother to know that uh, you're uh, a caring and loving sister. But this is a kind of dependency where this can make you feel disconnected. So I'd, I would let him let go of what he thinks of you and just focus on you being connected and uh, and happy and released and surrender him and then later you'll find that he'll respond to you better if you take care of yourself first this can also be a form of uh, people pleasing or seeking validation or wanting your brother to like you which is uh, again you should surrender or place this into god's hands or pray for a miracle to see this tendency differently if it's happening so that you can feel connected and grounded around your brother so not to make your brother your 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 god or your higher power but to make your connection to yourself and to god and to your source your inner connection uh your source by using these tools you'll be able to detach more from your brother and feel more empowered uh guilt is always um yeah uh if you always remember that guilt is not useful feeling guilty because you're not good enough or not being good enough for others it's just not a helpful emotion to indulge in it has no uh, spiritual benefit so continue reading I did use the prayer and I could notice that underneath I was covering up something I don't know something it sounds uh, that the covering up is about fear and I think I'm not totally genuine in my prayer or that I don't uh, trust fully <coughs> I would continue to use the prayers even if you feel you're not genuine or you don't trust fully um, the prayers in A Course in Miracles. You can also use the A Course in Miracles prayers on your lack of trust and uh, your lack of genuineness about the prayers or your lack of belief in the prayers. Like I pray for a miracle to see my lack of feeling genuine about these prayers differently. Uh, I pray for a miracle to see my lack of trust in these prayers differently. <clears throat> I could see peace instead of my lack of trust uh, uh, or I could see peace inst instead of my feelings of feeling uh, disingenuous or if you're feeling this kind of unease with the prayers you can uh, sitting with those feelings of unease will help to dissipate that and from my experience often these prayers if you continue to use them on a regular basis uh, <clears throat> as much as you can they will start to start to work but let me know how, how it goes so continuing reading um, I feel a big obsession or attachment about the words people can use uh, the mind picks them up and reacts when they don't match with my view maybe the prayer could simply be I pray for a miracle to see my attachment with words differently I cancel my belief I'm attached to words, I'm an infinite being, not subject to that. Um, yes, you can use those. Um, those are high level prayers, like I pray for a miracle to see my attachment to words differently. I cancel my belief in my attachment to words. You know, I cancel my belief to my attachment to what people think of me. I, I, I cancel my belief in my attachment to the thoughts in my head. I cancel my uh, attachment to my thinking. I, uh, I, I can, you know, I place uh, my interest and addiction to my own thoughts into God's hands. So these are great, um, great Course in Miracles lessons. Or practicing the observer. What's witnessing? Is there a detached observing or witnessing of thoughts, which is not interested in any of your thoughts, so that you can learn not to get hooked into the stories and thoughts that um, that are in your mind, and also to let go of being interested in, in anything that other people say to you. So you can practice all of those. And yeah, I wish you miracles in uh, releasing uh, in all of these situations. <clears throat>